Okay, perfect. So we are live on YouTube now and today we are learning how to decode your signature with Imran sir. And as I was saying that any point of time when you're writing something, especially your signature, it is your subconscious writing. How many of you have noticed your signature has a habit? You have a habit in the way you sign. Everyone take your pen quickly and sign on your notepad quickly. Come on, do it quickly. And in the way you sign, how many of you noticed every time, 90, 95%, 99%, the signature is the same. Type in yes in the chat window if you agree with me. Our signature is always the same. Why? Because your signature is made of your frequency in your mind, your feelings, your thoughts, your beliefs, your actions. Do you know that one look at your signature, Imran sir can identify more than 120 characteristics of your frequency. He can actually identify if you are close to your family or not. He can actually identify if you are someone who has a low self-esteem or high self-esteem. He can actually identify whether you give up easily or you work hard in your life. Almost 120 such frequencies of your behavior can be recognized just in your signature. How many of you agree that's crazy? Type in crazy in the chat window if you agree that's crazy. When I heard this for the first time, I was like, okay, I, I need to keep my signature away from Imran sir. But that's a different story. Then I got excited and I said, okay, here's my signature. Can you please analyze it for me? And we learned some beautiful things. And I even changed my signature. Indu's changed her signature. Am I right, Indu? And we practiced that new signature that we learned from Imran, sir. And because of that, we've seen a lot of changes in our behavior. Why? All of you say this. Say, my mind has frequency. My frequency creates my signature, correct? Now say this with me. Say, if I change my signature... It changes my frequency. Think about it. It is connected from there to here, so it is connected from here to there. So if you change something in your signature, something in your frequency also shifts. How many of you would love to know what your signature shows and what can you change to change your frequency? Would you love to know that? And the best part is Imran sir is going to share, share with us right now that if you practice your new signature by learning some of these things as, as per handwriting analysis, in just 21 days, your behavior starts changing. A low confident person becomes a high confident person. A low self-esteem person becomes a high self-esteem person. These are the dramatic changes that you can see with only changing your signature. How many of you have heard about, um, uh, have you heard about this lady called Shweta Jumani? Anybody's heard about Shweta Jumani? Uh, okay, how many of you have heard about, no, nobody, most people don't hear about coaches, I understand. But people hear about the results that coaches have created. So let me explain another word. How many of you have heard about Ekta Kapoor? Type in yes in the chat window. When I asked Shweta Jumani 5, 6, yes. When I asked Ekta Kapoor, everybody knows. See, what is this is the problem in the world. Nobody remembers the coaches. Everybody remembers the students and the results that they've created. So Ekta Kapoor had actually gone to Shweta Jumani, who's also a numerologist and a graphologist, by the way. And she helped change her signature. And it created amazing changes in her life. How many of you noticed that Shah Rukh Khan's movies have suddenly started doing well? Type in yes in the chat window if you've agreed that last few years, suddenly he's doing really well again. Hrithik Roshan in the last two, three years again has started growing. Yes or no? Believe it or not, graphologists, multiple graphologists have actually helped these superstars to change their signature. And when you change your signature, your frequency changes. And when your frequency changes, can anybody show me with your hands what changes in your life? Everyone take your hands like this, say attraction changes. So how many of you want to change what you're attracting right now in your life? Raise your hands. And who can help you change that? Tell me the name in the chat window. Who can help you change what you're attracting in your life right now? At least today, who can help you change that? Yes, <laughs> the master blaster, Imran sir can help you change that. So with a big, big, big bang, everyone please say thank you and love you to Imran sir for helping us changing our frequency. I'm bringing him on spotlight now and putting, unmuting all of you. All of you please unmute and say welcome Imran sir. Thank you and love you. Welcome Imran sir. Thank you. Imran sir. Imran sir. Thank you. Welcome, 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 Imran, sir. Welcome, Imran, sir. Welcome, Imran, sir. Right. So with that, thank you so much, Imran, sir, for coming one more time. And most importantly, thank you for this idea of not doing it only for the Platinum members, but extending this beautiful session for all our DMP members. So thank you so much once again for that, Imran. Our pleasure is mine. I know it feels like coming back home. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing today? <laughs> Super excited to see you all smiling and a oh, lot of energy there. I'm flooded with all the love on the chat box. Thank you. Thank you so much. Excited to be here. Are you ready? 
All of yep. you, are you ready? Show us some thumbs ups, come on. Okay, perfect. So if you're ready, let's start with an amazing question with Imran sir about something that I'm sure everybody's thinking about right now. Imran sir, the question is, I've told people, Shah Rukh Khan became successful, Ritik Roshan became successful, and because they made some changes in their signature, is this really real? Like, I want to hear from you as an expert, because I've heard about this from news articles about they've changed their signatures. So two questions, actually, two part questions. One is, is that really true? And maybe can you share some great leaders' signatures and how that made some changes in their lives? Great. Uh, it's a wonderful question. Yes. The simple answer is yes, yes, yes. It does impact. Changing your signature does impact your, you know, physiology, your, you know, psychology. You know why? Because it's basically directly working with your mindset. So signature is all about directly working on, it's like you're directly communicating to your subconscious mind. See, most of the time, it's basically the conversations which you're doing. Like you're talking to yourself, you're trying to motivate yourself. But what if, if you go directly into your brain and make those corrections yeah. in your neurons and your neuro pathways and make the changes happen? And that's why it is. And it's science. It's not magic. It's not something which you can't explain how it happened. But it's a very you know, systematic approach that's towards it. That's the best it. part of it. Amazing. Thank you. Could you probably share some names with us of some great leaders who've been able to do that? Like I took a couple of names, but maybe you can take some more celebrity well, names or great know, leaders. Including the sports people. Uh, I, I've personally seen Rahul Dravid, uh, Sachin Tendulkar, their signature has drastically changed over a period of time and they made con conscious decisions to change certain elements in the signature to influence your subconscious mind. And it it's true because it's not just about adding another letter to your name. It's about the way you write your name. The logic is very simple. Mithesi, the way you say your name has an energy to it. So similarly, how you write your name also has an energy to it. Absolutely. So remember people do, uh, you know, Jaffna bolte hain, hum tasbi bolte hain, and you actually take Rudra Akshara and you're saying the God's name. Why do you say God's name? Is because when you say there is a frequency, an energy to it. So when your name has a frequency and energy to it, and sure, when you write also has the energy and frequency to it. And that's what is happening there. Wow. I remember once you said, and I would like you to complete that statement, our signature is the biggest. You remember what you said? Yeah, yeah. Uh, all of you, do you love affirmations? I, I remember something Imran sir said when he met me for the first time. He said, your signature is the biggest affirmation of your life. Can you explain that a little bit? Surely, uh, your signature is the biggest affirmation because every time you sign, you're putting across a message to the universe and also to your subconscious mind. So that's why I always insist people should have a powerful signature because every time you're signing, you're putting across a message to the you know to your subconscious mind and also to the universe. And those of you who have not been signing your name and sitting there, Imran, I don't write anymore. I don't actually sign anymore. That's the problem. I want you to come back because you're not actually practicing this energy. You're not. You're losing out on this important essence. I want to tell you this. I'm sure when people gave you your name, you know, when you were growing, when you were just born and somebody had to name you, they did not just give you the name just like that. They did a lot of research. They did consult many people and they gave you the name. And you need to do justice to the name by using it more, writing it more, saying it more. And that's the problem with most of us. We don't do that enough. Absolutely. In fact, I'd like to say something amazing here that even though a lot of times we don't practice our signature, I realize this, that even though we don't practice our signature, our signature hasn't changed. Right? Like, how many of you agree with that? Type in yes in the chat window. Like, even though you don't practice your negativity, your negativity hasn't changed. Right? <laughs> even though you don't practice having bad relationships, your bad relationships haven't changed. Right? But we need to change something in the signature so that we can change our relationships, our health, our career, our money situations. And that's what's really possible with what Imran sir is going to teach us today. So, Imran, can you give us an example of why is it that when I practice a new signature compared to my old signature, which I may not have been practicing for one year, but every time I sign the same thing comes out, right? Because it's my subconscious programming, as you said. But now when I change my signature, why does it change my frequency? Why does it change my attractions? Like why are people like Shah Rukh Khan, Shweta Jumani, or these Ekta Kapoor or Hrithik Roshan, why are they getting successful just by changing their signature? Right, so the answer is very simple. Uh, I'm sure everybody is gonna agree with me have you seen your handwriting changing over a period of time? Let's go back to your school days, from high school to the professional, to the college. Have you seen your handwriting changing, everybody? Uh -huh. You know, some of you are sitting and saying, Imran, my handwriting changes every day. You know, every time I write, you know, you know, morning it's different, afternoon is different, and evening is different. And the good news is, it's normal. If your handwriting has not changed, I'll be more worried. 
because oh. why your handwriting is changing is because you are changing as a person physically emotionally mentally you are a different person how many of you agree with me on that give me a big yes on that right but one amazing thing the sad part of the story is that your signature also wanted to evolve mm. but you kept it holding on to it saying that no 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 change nahi hona chahiye bank mein accept nahi hoga you know people will not agree and you actually forcefully kept it and you know what you when you created your signature you created just like that maybe you were in 10th standard and somebody said oh hall ticket you have to sign and you thought about something and you wrote it and it became your akhir kalam like you had to stick to that and some mm-hmm. of you got inspired by your parents some of you got inspired by your teacher and you added some elements to it and you're sticking on to it you're not even allowing it to change even if you wanted to change and that's why some of you are not able to let go of certain things you know today mr ji was talking about forgiving yourself letting go of things you know you know why somewhere you're holding on to things you know why you're not allowing yourself to evolve how many of you able to relate oh, to that oh yeah my handwriting has changed but my signature hasn't changed that's very interesting that's very very interesting how many of you realize that by the way that your handwriting has evolved over a period of years but not your signature type and i if you agree with that right now wow that is amazing so is it possible imran like last time we did the part 1 of this already but maybe we can take some platinum members and analyze their signatures and use that as a demonstration to explain what is hidden in these beautiful lines of our signature surely uh see the idea is to empower your mind see when i do handwriting analysis when i do signature analysis the core element of the every aspect is that how much do you know your own self see we are the people who know everything about everything but the idea is you don't know more about your own self what is the process of you learning anything what is the process of you making a decision most of us don't have that education so with your signature i understand where you are getting stuck which area of your life you need to be really working on and where your frequency is actually getting disturbed uh-huh. and the idea is to let you know about that and support you in making a decision to change that and in the process we'll also give you a systematic approach to make a change out of it wow amazing so here's how we're going to do it guys there is going to be a google form that's going to come in in the live zoom chat right now uh this is specially for the platinum members please fill up that google form quickly i hope you've kept your signature photographs ready the moment you submit your photograph over there immediately it will show up on our google form form folder over here and imran sir will actually look at that file right now and he will show you exactly what is seen in your signature and maybe even recommend a few changes now i'm going to give all of you a few seconds to upload your signature in that google form not over here in the chat window in the google form i'll tell you why because then it get goes straight to imran sir okay that's one second it remains with us now the here is the while some of you are filling this up i'm going to take one more question from imran sir so we give you time to fill up that google form so imran the question is i remember you said that you have stopped doing personal signature analysis right like a lot of people who go through your session they say imran can i pay you so much money to come and do the personal handwriting analysis with you or to personally do the signature analysis with you you change my signature and i'll change my life you and you always say no for that can you explain why okay see i believe uh change is very sacred i believe change is highly sacred thing and before you change anything what is important is to understand what to change the problem with most of us is that in the in the name of making a change we end up changing things which is actually working for us how many of you have realized this yeah in the name of change we end up changing things what is not working and what is actually working for us so my focus is that can i help you to understand before you make your change in your signature first understand what your signature is speaking about you what is that communication is going to the people on a natural level and before you actually change your signature so that's what i focus on with daisy wow that makes a lot of sense okay great so i think you've got some of the files coming up over there already uh, is it okay if i take some names that you could probably pull up over there I, i'm sure you can see the signatures over there already yes yes i do see some signatures great. so yeah. let's begin with some of the new platinum members here and let's begin with sonali basan oh my god so i already have about uh, 35 40 samples on my screen yes. right now and it's a very challenging thing to discuss, decide who are we going to go and by the way before i proceed you know i hope you realize this is get, getting streamed live on the youtube so if you don't want your signature to be discussed please let us know you don't have to fill this up and one of the reasons why we asking this to be going on the google form not on the chat box right now is because we don't want your signature to be you know uh, publicly visible so that's yes. the idea about that so please be okay with that and if you're with me on that then you know say 
Okay, are you all okay to dis be discussed? Yeah, that is why the chat is on private before you could submit your photograph because I know some of you, even though you, I told you, you still didn't listen to me, you submitted your photos in the chat, but we've kept the chat on private so nobody else can see your photographs of your signature. So the first person, uh, that is Sonali, I'm gonna quick take quickly take one yes. more permission from Sonali, you're okay if this is getting recorded? Thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm honored, <Most> actually. <laughs> <laughs> Most welcome. Here we go, Imran, sir. Please do your magic. Great. Hi, Sunali. How are you doing today? I'm going so great, sir. So good to see you. Like, I'm super energ energized, actually. <laughs> Thank you so much. So let me just bring your signature onto the screen. It's important that you... Okay, so one moment. Let me just bring it on the screen also so that everybody also gets to see it. So the idea is, dear participants, when I'm decoding somebody's signature, I want you to please pay attention because some of the elements, you might also have it. So when you have those elements, you can also listen to me very carefully how you can make changes to these elements in your own signature. So Sunali, I'm getting started with your signature. I want to bring your signature onto the screen. So let me show this signature to everybody there. So Sunali is using a very important aspect of signature. That means she has a full name onto her. So let me just show you this on the screen right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how Sunali is signing. So Sunali, what I see in your handwriting is amazing. So this is your signature. And let me start with the way you're starting your letter S. Your letter S basically shows and talks about you having a certain resentment which you're holding on to towards people in your life. So I need to really help you to get this out in your system. You know why? What is resentment is you holding certain people responsible for certain things not happening in your life the way you wanted it to happen. Are you all with me on that? Mm -hmm. So it could be, you know, you wanted to become something in your life and you could not get to do that. You wanted to be in with somebody in your life and you're not able to do it. So anything goes wrong today, you have certain people you hold responsible for you not being successful or you not being happy in your life right now. And this emotion is very, very powerful. It is something which can also impact on your health, on your emotional level and many more things. Are you able to relate to this, what I'm saying right now? So yes. it's a very important thing which you need to really focus on. I'm especially not happy with the way you're starting with your letter S. So I'll come back to the creation part of it. But also, everybody look sure. at the two dots below the signature. Everybody has this question, Imran, should I have the two dots or should I not have two dots below the signature? See, every time people write dots below the signature, it's basically seeking validation. Like Sunali knows what she wants to do. Sunali knows what she wants to achieve in her life. But... Even now, she wants validation for it. Imran, I know I want to do it, but let me check with my spouse law. Let me check with my partner. Let me check with my you know, friend. You know, you always need validation for everything. And why do people need validation? So most of you must be sitting there and thinking, Imran, it is a good thing to have. No, what? why we need validation is when you don't have enough confidence on your own self. You at least will have somebody to blame when the result is not positive or it's not turning out the way you want to do it. Sonali, are you with me on that? Yes, that's absolutely correct. So this validation is absolutely correct. Yeah, and that's I something noticed with myself. And stopping you because you're not able to make decisions yes. because sometimes you want to do it, but now that you're not getting enough support or validation, you choose not to take the decision. Not a good idea at all. And I also see that you are very, very generous as a person. Very, very bad at handling time and money. You know why? Because you're always giving away your attention, your time to people, and you're not getting the same in return. And it also frustrates you sometimes. And you're so good that you have given money to people and you can't even ask back your own money. You have actually contributed to people's life. You can't even claim that you've actually done that. And it feels sometimes you actually beat yourself down for doing this again and again in your life. Do you see that happening in your life, Tanali? Yes, now I can see that. <laughs> yeah, now you can see that. See, sometimes we, we know yes. it's happening, but it requires somebody to point it out. Yeah. It's happening there. I can go on and on, uh, Sonali, but what I want to tell you is that take care of your health because what I see in your handwriting is that, you know, elements connected to psychosomatic. What is psychosomatic? Psychosomatic is things which happens in your mind first and then goes on to your body. And in your signature, okay. what I'm able to see that things which are psychosomatic in nature. What are psychosomatic things in nature? Hypertension, BP, you know, things related to, uh, you know, it could be also migraine. Sometimes, you know, it could also be connected to the th hypothyroidism. So, so, so many things are able to see that in your handwriting and in your signature right now. Please take care of your health. Did you get your health checkup done? Sure. 
Uh, uh, yeah, recently I've got it done. So I've been taking care of my health actually consciously from last one year. So it's just improved a lot. And I'm like consciously on my health every time. Like Very I take care of it. Are you able to it identify was... with what he said, which is the resentment part? Uh, because that is too personal, right? Like having resentment, holding yes. on to getting yes. uh, validation I... from your people around you before you're making decisions. Right. Is that making sense? Yes, yes, absolutely. I think now I am becoming aware of it. Like, yes, it is wow. there. It is there in wow. some parts. And have you met absolutely. Simran sir earlier in detail? Like, have you given him all information about your life before? No. <laughs> no. So he no. took one look at your signature and he's able to see so many things. Yes. <laughs> I think he has brought the things which I think I consciously also didn't know about myself. But now I can relate. It's there. Yes, it's there. Now imagine guess, if you could true. change that in your frequency. But if it doesn't change, then what? That's the important question. Right. Like right. what if your validation Absolutely. never changes? I'll stay where I'm at. I now am. I, I wouldn't be able to go. What if your resentment never changes? It's going to impact me in the other areas as well. So I want to change. <laughs> yeah. That's where you now need to make changes in your signature. And by the way, yes. now you need to know, you, now you know where you can do your hope, no, no. Ah, yes. So you see, both of Absolutely. these things can be beautifully combined. That is why I say signature analysis is one of the best tools for understanding law of traction and where to apply it. Now you can take this yes. and say, okay, I need to use hope, no, no, or EFT to let go of some of my resentments. Right. I need to do affirmations for self-esteem and self-confidence rather than looking for validation. So now you need to do, true. now you know where to do affirmations. Right. That's so true. <laughs> right? Look at this beautiful combination. Yes. And yes. Imran sir just took one look. Now, do you think you need to master this or do you think Imran sir is going to live with you forever? No, I need to master this. <laughs> <laughs> so the good news for you for is sure. Platinum members have this course included. Level one is free for you. Yes, yes. So yes, make sure the first step yes. is happening of the signature analysis next week. Am I right, Imran, sir? Yes, it is happening. Uh, can you tell us the dates in the chat window maybe? Yeah, please make a note. It's on 19, 20 and 21. It's a two evening and one full day program with me where you can learn this. I'm going to be sharing with you close to 55 things to look into anybody's handwriting, starting with your own and how, what are the things which you need to be fixing in your signature also? And how do you change things? What I spoke to Sunali ji right now is, you know, diagnosis, but how do you really focus on changing it? What do you need to practice? What are the exercises you need to do? We also give you material to work on it and that's how it's done. But having said that, see, analysis is not just about pointing false or wrong things in uh, Sonali's handwriting, but I did see some of the amazing abilities Sonali is made up of. Like you have an amazing fluidity of thoughts. You can be a good conversationally, good writer and orator. You should definitely emphasize on that. You have amazing... Look at that smile there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have an amazing ability <laughs> in attention to details. Okay, yeah, so yes. remember things uh, and everything. But right now, what is happening in your life is that your mind is so disturbed that all these abilities are fading away because you're able to see things, you remember things, but recalling is becoming a challenge in your life. And I was, when I was talking about health, I'm sure when you saw your medical reports, most of the things was borderline. Did doctor use this word? Like uh, someone... No, I think they were fine. Okay. Except the calcium and vitamin D. So please work on it. Get your health checkup done uh, to the earliest. It's important because one aspect is sure. somatic. Second aspect is something connected with your gut. So something to do with your digestive system, something to do with the way you're processing what you eat. Because remember, that's your right. second brain. So please take care of it. Absolutely. Amazing. Sure. So, so I, I am going to request Imran sir right now to share a couple of changes that we can do in your signature so yes. that many people can yes, learn. Definitely. But here is the best part. On the third day of the first step program of uh, signature analysis of this handwriting analysis program, you will be actually able to identify other people's handwriting and signature exactly how he's doing on the third day. Yes. And that's a promise. Yes. Okay. So make sure yes. that you're attending, take advantage of that platinum program. Let's look at some of the changes in your signature now. Sure. Surely, yes. Thank you so much, sir. Sure. Uh, Sunali, you have your letter L in your signature. So the first correction is make sure your letter L is round on the top. Right now, your letter L is basically sharp on the top. So the sharpness has to be eliminated. Make sure your L is round. Okay, this sharpness is pointing out. It should be round. It should be flat or the round there. So that's one thing. Second thing is when you're starting your signature. Uh, you I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Imran, sir. I'm going to come back to that one because what does that sharp L mean in the first place? Because there are so many people here who might have a sharp L in their signature. How many of you have a sharp L in your signature? Type an I in the chat window. 
So what, what does that mean? Okay, see sharp L. Uh, okay, letter L is a very important letter for us in handwriting analysis. Letter L talks about how you learn things. Letter L signifies your health aspect of it. So it also talks about the flow of your blood in your body, especially to the upper part of your body. So all this is important. And whenever we see any type of a disturbance, so let me just show you the signature back onto the screen. Uh, sorry, Sonali, we are getting too much into, you know. That's bicycle. fine, sir. I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> oh, there's the sharpness in there. Sharpness. Yes, yeah. Uh, not happy with that you need to really work on that sure. and look at the way you're starting your stroke you see this and this is not really required you know it's too much of a you know extension we call this as mm -hmm. invisible beginning stroke uh it is a stroke which is not really required and you need to really do this okay can you say that again i okay. missed that what it's stroke called yeah. beginning stroke so this extra stroke not really required start it from the baseline can you see right now, okay. it's penetrating your baseline, the line which you have drawn below. Let me write and show it yeah, to you. But my suggestion is, I always follow the rule, one variable at a time. So the first variable is no sharpness, the round one. And when you're starting your okay. S, yeah, if it is, this is your baseline, this is going below that. So my suggestion is, if this is the line, make sure your S is here, not going down there. So that's a good idea then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Got can it. this be any letter in the first, uh, any first letter of the signature can have the same problem? Uh, not necessarily, but most of us actually do that. We call this as inflexible beginnings. Mm -hmm. Even if you're starting, see, okay. even Miteji, if you are writing, you can actually start with the inflexible beginning stroke. People who have A, they mm -hmm. actually tend to do this. They think it's a fancy thing or it's just a design element. But, you know, see, every line for us, Every line you write is nothing but a stroke. Stroke is anything which has a starting point and an ending point and the direction which is going to. Every line you do, every dot you write has a significance. Wow, that was amazing. So you yes. did two things for Sonali. One was the L, second is the S. And how many of you can S. identify similar things in your signature type and I? And you said something about the dots because, and the reason I'm pointing out the dots is because. Yeah, the two dots. Two dots, because there are so many people who have a dot in their signature. How many of you have a dot, single or double dots in your signature? Type in I, or just tell me single or double in the chat window. What does that show you about her and what can she change that to? Okay, so the dots basically talks about validation. So you're constantly looking for validation. Mm -hmm. And to be very honest, right. sometimes for some people, it does work. So if you ask me, Imran, should I remove that? I say, no, hold on to that because it's not such a big of a okay. thing. Because if you look at the list of priorities which you need to look at, the first th two things which I said about the le letter L and the S, that is more important. You can fix that first. And then the, this could be the third thing which you can actually focus on. So can wow. I just remove the dots like in the later stage or? I, as I, I said, keep it... you know, if it is working for you, see, some of you are working okay. in, a, in a position where you need validation from people. You need approval from mm -hmm. people. You might be an investment, right. take people's money for granted. So you need acknowledgement from people saying that, can I go ahead and make an investment on your behalf? Or can I do this? Can I ask you to buy this policy? So you're taking validation for sometimes it works for you. And sometimes it does not work. You know, in my case, it did not work because I wanted to take so many actions, but I was waiting for validations. I was waiting for people's approval. And I, I saw that I was sleeping over so many decisions and I was delaying my own progress. So if this is what you're mm -hmm. able to relate to, go ahead and remove the dots. But if you're in a business yes, where you require validation or if you're a team leader, if you're a business owner, where you have a team of people who are working with and you have to work with all of them and validation really mm -hmm. works. Otherwise, there'll be a, change, you know, a shift in frequency of how you connect with people. Wow. So for Understood. an example, yes. if I am... Uh, as a husband, if I constantly take inputs from my wife saying, Indu, should I do this? Indu, should I do that? Indu, is it okay if I do this? And and if there are two dots, it's a direct correlation. So if I remove those two dots, now I'll do everything without asking Indu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. When it comes to husband, wife, uh, I, I don't want to get onto the conversation there. Because, <laughs> yeah, because I don't know. I, I'm so happy about that. <laughs> but no, I, I want to correct that. Mitesh, I want to correct that. No, it's not about asking people, should I do it or not? It's about you getting an approval saying You're that thinking. you want somebody to tell you, Sonali, what you're thinking is good. I think you should do it. So that's called validation. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. You're not asking for permission, yes. but you're asking for validation. So it's like this, Imran, I want to change my signature, but do you think I should change it? So you're asking for my validation there. So you're not asking me for my right. permission. Asking permission is different. Validation is something else. Perfect. Right, right. Does that make sense, yes, Sonali? Absolutely. Yes, yes, absolutely. I think nice. I I need to take that off gradually yeah. because I can relate. Okay. So one of the things Imran sir says that I'm saying to you on his behalf right now, don't make any changes right now. 
wait yes. for the workshop because one yes. of the things he said in the beginning did you hear what he said change is what anybody remembers the word in the chat window what is change you remember sonali what he said change is change is, is... <laughs> no? change is highly a sacred thing you know sacred. what comes before yes. change is to understand what to change yes. like change right. like prayer. Prayer, prayers are sacred right right so change is sacred you got to make changes with a lot of understanding before you make changes right you've just known little bit about this from imran sir right now but now go to the workshop and make sure that you learn everything in detail so by the third day Absolutely. you're a master at it and now you know you understand the changes that you're making right now it would be making blind changes and he never recommends that am right. i am i right sir yes yes, yes. yes. understood yes perfect thank yes. you sonali and thank you for being a volunteer thank you so much sir thank, thank you. you imran sir thank you ritesh sir thank you for thank the support the team truly blessed everyone please thank say you, thank, you, thank you, you to sonali all of you on mute please give her a high five and say thank you sonali for helping thank us thank you learn. so much sonali thank you sonali thank you thank you sonali 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 I have unmuted him. Um, yes, Balbir, go for it. Would you like to analyze your signature, and are you comfortable being recorded to do that? If yes, we'll continue. If no, yes, that's fine. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So yes. All right. <laughs> yes. Go for it, Imran sir. Let's do your magic one more time. Uh, and I think you have the document with you. Yes, I have the document. I'm just downloading that. Uh, hi, Balbir. How are you doing today? Very good. Thank you. Thank you for taking for, time on this. Thank you for choosing to get your signature <laughs> analyzed when. So let's work on two important things. See, one of the things I see in your hand right in your signature right now is one lovely aspect I love to have everybody to experience in their life is called as self leadership. Everybody say this word, self leadership. So I always emphasize that you need to really focus on developing self leadership. So what is self leadership? See, whenever we talk about the word leadership. we always talk about oh managing people or oh, it's about you know leading people but what is important for us is self leadership is basically can you be your own self cheer leader can you stand by your own decisions rather than changing your stance after looking at the results of your decision and all these are very important because whenever i see people not using an underline below your signature can you see that there that's missing so what is self leadership self leadership is that you need to start with your own self so balbi i see a lot of things which are going wrong in your signature but let me start with the good thing can i start with the good things then yes please <laughs> right so everybody look at balbi has her own okay so balbi what is that which you have written there is it your surname or is it your full name there is balbi chandi c h a n d i chandi okay. so you have written b chandi yes okay so chandi is a surname so surname is normally in india it's spouse or the father's name so in your case is it your father's or your spouse's name spouse spouse's name great so everybody look into your signature and you see there are two elements to anybody's signature one is the first name and other one is your family name or your spouse's name or your surname so now in your case balbi you have not written your full name there right so it's only the b part there and you see that the surname has been given more significance than your own name so i can go ahead and decode this on the entry level of it so the first aspect is balbi what is seen in your life is that your plan b is highly stronger than your plan a you always start with imran i want to do this but if it is not working i can always go back and do that so let me give an example not necessarily in your life but this is what is the everybody how many of you want to start your own business yeah and you start and you work towards it but you you also have this backup plan even if this is not working i'll go back to my job can you see that and you are more confident about the plan b than a plan a and it could be also about your competitive exam you know imran i will write ias ips and i'm going to take a year gap and i'm going to do that and you also know that if it does not work i can go back to my family business so can you see that the idea about people who don't have the name in their signature and they have this significance given to the surname is the people who have this problem their plan b is always stronger than a plan a so the question to is to you all of you is that where will you get result will we where will you get result <laughs> plan b oh, plan b is always working and you are so happy saying that oh you already had a backup plan 
See, the idea is the reason why we are not progressing in our life is because we don't have our ships burnt down. We don't have any other way to or die. It's, that's the attitude. And that's why some of you are not able to generate what type of results you want to generate because you're happily okay because you have a comfort zone of the plan B. So it will be, if you want to really create results in your life, I want to see your name in your signature. Your signature deserves to have your own name. Number two, a highly influence of your family in your own signature in the way you are thinking, the way you decide, the way you operate your life has a lot to do with the family value systems overshadowing your own identity. And you're going to be struggling that no matter how much you do, you'll be still known by, okay, wo falani ghar ki bahu hai, wo falani ghar ki beti hai, and you all this. So your identity is under crisis. So that's the two important things which I see in your hand by signature. You need to really work on that. So we'll be over to you. Speak to me. Because I see you also have a question for me where you're asking, Imran, what is that which I need to be fixing in my signature? So go ahead, Bilbi. Do you have any questions? Wow. For me? Go ahead, Bilbi. <laughs> you want to work on your finances, right? Yeah, first so, of all, I agree what you just told me. I And I learned this in my school. I copied my teacher's signature when I was in like high school. <laughs> Followed, I used to be Balbir Kaur. Then I got married. I made Balbir Chandi. And yes, I do value family thing and all that I, and plan b i think that's guy mess, got messed up in my financials because i give less importance to myself mm -hmm. so at the manifestation good. level you've already decided to fail because you know it did not work so if it doesn't work then i have a fallback plan right so at, do you see that at a frequency level that's a manifestation in action in the future God, never realize so, until now and the lights, you know, got on. Yes. The good thing is now you know what affirmations to do based on this. The good thing is now you will understand where to release that hope. No, no. But again, we will ask him answer for some changes. But before that, do you want to ask some specific question based on what you wrote in the Google sheet there? I just, I want to improve my financial situation. Okay, let's see what changes we can make in the handwriting for that or the signature. Is it possible, Imran sir, change something, give, the, give her more money? Is, is it possible? I can definitely support you there. But right now what I see is on a frequency level, uh, Babir, you know, somewhere deep down, you're trying too hard to prove somebody wrong. Okay, you're trying to, you know, get somebody's stamp saying that, okay, you're, what you're doing is great or doing that. So more than the finances, what is not... Uh, what is that which you are seeking in your life is somebody's stamp of approval. And I, you want somebody's appreciation. You want somebody's tick mark saying that, yes, you're doing great. And this is where you're struggling. But we, even in your, your finances, is proportionate to proving somebody a point. Okay. And it, it's very, very strongly visible in your signature and the frequency your signature is speaking. Please talk to me. You felt something there, Balbir. Go ahead. What do you feel? I don't want to say too much on YouTube on that. I guess Sorry. That. Thank but, you. But I guess you felt it. <clears throat> yes. And you know exactly what to make changes for, right? <clears throat> because imagine at a, in law of traction, as we say that if I'm succeeding to prove, then success is not my major objective. Then my affirmations may not even work for me. Right? And the beauty is now we are able to identify things that probably even you didn't realize that, oh, that's what my frequency is, right? And he's able to see that. Now the, now the beauty is you will be able to see that in the three days workshop because you have access to it. You just need to make sure that now the next weekend when the workshop happens, show up Friday, Saturday, Sunday, be there 100%. And by Sunday, you'll be a master at not only changing this, but more importantly, understanding this. Would you love to? Yes, thank you. Awesome, congratulations. Now I like that big smile coming up. <laughs> See that deep breath? Like, oh, okay, now I know. Okay, I can do it myself. That Then it's fine. Awesome. This is called independent smile and breathing. So Imran, sir, what can you recommend so, so that everybody can okay. learn from something uh, changing that? Yeah, how's your water intake? I see that you're not taking care of uh, water intake to your body. Maybe you're drinking too much of water or not taking enough water. Take care of it. It's impacting your you know hydration in your body. And that's why you I'm feel drinking too much water. Yeah, I think so, that's what it is. Yeah. So okay. You need to really take care of it because uh, it's not a good sign what I see in your handwriting. So please get it checked and validated because too much of water is also not good. I and mean, this is for everybody. Okay. Less water, bad. More water, bad. 
And mm -hmm. one of the things, uh, okay, Balbir, I know you don't want to talk more about it, but please work on some of the aspects. The one quick change which I want to suggest in your signature is, you know what, you have a letter B. B is for us money. Do you know that? You're blessed with a name which starts with a B. It's all about the money and you're not wow. practicing it well enough. Okay. You know, I've been always very blessed, but I've been stupid that I did not take care of it. Yeah. I, I yeah. also said that there. Uh, mm -hmm. It was, okay, uh, let's not do, but see, I, I, my apologies, okay, because when I see sig signatures, it's unstoppable. There's so much your signature is speaking. I, I have to be very careful what to speak or what not to speak, but let me just help you with getting your letter B right. So if you want to write your letter B, I see there is a loop which you're forming in the below B. Can you see that here? Yes. Yeah. So I want you to really, you know, get rid of it and write your letter B at least four times bigger than the rest of the letters. Okay. And you're not going to change your signature immediately because what you need to start first is self-love and by writing your full name. So spell your name for me, please. B-A-L-B-I-R. B-A-L-B? B-I-R. Okay. So what I want you to do is first start writing your first name. So the first okay. next 20 days, all that you have to do is only write your first name. Get present to your name. Write your name as much as possible. Get your name right. Okay. So two okay. things I want you to really take care. I am not worried about the other letters. But the first one is the big B. The second one is a small b which you write. Make sure it has a basket here and a small loop on the top. Okay. okay. So this will, be, this will open up your mindset for new learnings towards business. And this is all about money. So please make sure you get your b right. And your b should not have any loop there. So no loop like this. Okay. It has to be a small basket. So it's a letter b. You can also write a b like this, but I'll be more happy to see you writing b because this is what you're looking for in terms of finances. Wow. So she would need to practice this for how long, did you say? Uh, what I see in her handwriting is a lot of resistance, uh, Miteji. So I'm sure she will take more than 21 days to get out of it. But uh, I also see a lot of commitment. And that means you'll also be able to get this out faster. But 20 days is something which I suggest you to write. Perfect. So that's a good change. Ready to welcome some more money in your life, Palbir? Yes. <laughs> what a beauty. Your name starts with B and he's saying B is the significant part for money. How amazing like, is she's that? She's blessed with money. I don't know why she's complaining. You know, Balbir, I, I, you're not no, I am blessed, but like I said, cancel, cancel. The problem is you, I see you're blessed with money and you say finances. That's why I said, okay, this is not, not matching. Not matching. So awesome. it's not about money, Balbir. It's not about money. I hope you look into what I just said, okay? I will. Thank you. And I'm looking forward okay. to talk to you more. Thank you for helping us learn, Balbir, with your signature. All of you, please unmute. Give her a high five. Thank you, Balbir, for helping us learn. Thank, Thank you, Balbir, for, for, for helping us learn. Right, so let's see if we can do one more analysis. I know it's a long time, so we have Harshwardhan Mishram. Here we go. So meanwhile, Akash has a question. Imran, do I sign thousand times? No, it's not the number of times you sign. It's about how correctly you sign. So that's very important, Akash. So it's not the number of times. Okay. Uh, Harsh Vardhan. Okay. So let's go. Oh, okay. Harsh, me you have given me a way. signature which is on your credit card. Bad idea. Bad, bad idea. No, I can't be taking this. So if you have signed it, taken a picture and then send it, I'll be doing it. You can't send me a signature which is on your credit card. Like I can't be exposing your credit card on your uh, screen. So Harsh, yeah. please sign. Right. Mithesh, so Harsh, can, we Akash, can we take Akash with me? Can we take? Akash, Akash Vani. Yeah, sure. So here we go, Akash Vani. Uh, Akash, would you be able to switch on your video? I can see your videos off right now. If you're uh, now, you know, I can see your videos on. Great. Yes, Akash, go for it. So, Hi, how are you doing? Akash, good? are you okay to analyze your signature live? Yeah, it's on perfect. YouTube. You're good with that. Okay, great. Awesome. So let's begin. This is Akash Vani. Great. Hi, Akash. How are you doing today? Are you able to hear us? Are you able to speak to us? Uh, yeah, I can uh, yeah, hear you. And uh, I can speak with you. Yeah. Voice is clear. So, okay. So, let me bring this signature onto the screen. Okay. Akash, when was the last time you got your signature changed? Have you ever changed your signature? 
I think this must have been like past two three months back only. See, how I could you catch that? that? <laughs> Akash has recently changed his signature, and I can very well see that in his signature. That's crazy. Yeah. So, Akash, uh, no comments on your signature yet because you just recently got your signature changed. So, I will not talk about it because I don't want to confuse you with too many dimensions to it. But all I can say is, Akash, if you are in a, in a are you in, uh, you are working in a team or are you a business owner? So I have been a working professional now, and I'm in search of a new job. Like my previous working day was like a few days. The problem with you is Akash, you have a very strong personality. So you have a sense of you know leadership which does not get aligned with a team. So if you are in a team, you have to be a team leader. You can't survive as a team member. So your problem is not the job, is the problem is about the way you approach the job. So this is for everybody because I'm not going to talk much about Akash because he just recently changed his signature, but I definitely want to help Akash because I see certain things which you're practicing, which is not really in alignment to you. So if you're really looking at starting your own business, I think it's a great decision because in the job, you'll always get in trouble with people in authority. That's what we need your problem. It's not the company. It is the problem with the managers and the team leaders. Mm -hmm. And you don't get along at all. So every three months or six months, something happens and you press those buttons. Akash? That's correct. That's Akash, correct. this is so related to the question you asked me in the community. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how, but I think you are able to like read it very correctly. Imran, he actually asked a question yesterday on the community asking... He's got some problem going on about some people dominating and taking advantage of him in the office. And you're bang on to the point. My God, this is crazy analysis. But Imran, his signature changed. How are you still able to identify that? Okay, see, the problem is, uh, I don't know how many of you know this. If you've gone to anybody to say change your signature, they tell you what to change, but they don't tell you why they want you to change. Oh, yes. Have you realized that? They don't tell you. They will say, Hamne bola hai, aapko practice karna hai, aapke liye achha hai. Lekin, kyu karna hai, wo nahi So this is why I want you to all to operate like a leader, not as a follower. So when you come to me, I always love to deal with you as a leader. A leader is somebody who has to be self-informed. You have to be the driver of your own life, right? right? So I want you to make the decision, not me. So don't give me so much of power saying that, Imran, aap bataiye, jo change karna hai, aap kar lege. Mm -hmm. Aap choose ki jega, main aapko uski... You know, I'm going to give you enlightenment about it and then you make a change out of it and that's going to be a fair decision. So Akash, Perfect. it's not the job. Akash, it's about you. Okay. So, so Akash, do you promise to attend the next program so that you can learn this proper? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. I mean, I will attend his, I'm a part of the platinum. So I will Absolutely. I think, have, have his access, access to, to his course. So awesome. I will attend the live sessions also like Looking whenever they are happening. It. It's happening. The dates again, Imran, sir? 19... Yeah. 2021. Write it down. 19, okay, 2021. Will... Friday evening, Saturday evening. You'll get an email in Platinum yeah. again. Don't worry about it. I will make 19, a note in calendar also. My calendar. Please do that right away. Block your calendar. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. All of you, please unmute. Give him a high five. Say thank you, Akash, for helping us learn with your signature. Thank you, thank you, thank you Akash, for helping thank us. Thank you, Akash. Thank you, Right. And thank we'll take Akash. one more. That's going to be Suresh Raghwan. If... Oh, yes, thank Imran, sir. Harshwar, then we missed out. So we can actually continue with Harshwardhan. Let's see if we can continue with Harshwardhan. Harshwardhan, now I got your signature right. Yes. We got a signature? Okay, great. Yeah, yes, thank Harshwardhan. you, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Hi, Harsh. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm fine, sir. Uh, yeah, a bit of issues. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you know, uh, when it was asked what question... Don't tell me, don't tell me. Let, oh, sorry, me, sorry. let me speak. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You, you don't tell because otherwise, how will he identify from your signature? Let, let it yeah. be magical. Yeah, okay, well, here we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, this is what... I don't want you to speak to me. You know, let me speak to you and find out more about you. And uh, whenever I see signatures, see, I want to see leadership qualities. I want to see a lot of positivity happening. So let me see here what is happening. Okay, so a lot of hesitation in uh, Harshwardhan's signature is what I'm able to see. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how Harshwardhan signs his signature. Okay, so Harshwardhan, I see that you're writing your H here, and this is your family name, which you're writing it here. Uh, unmute yourself, please. 
I've unmuted you now, Harsh. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for unmuting, sir. Uh, yes, sir, that's the family uh, name. So, two things to quickly talk about it. One is, Harsh Vardhan, what I see is you being very too hard on your own self. You have to stop beating yourself down. Even if nobody is criticizing or complaining, you are the first person to find faults with your own self. You're being highly critical about your own self for every decision you take, for every action you take, for everything in your life, you are finding faults with your own self. So I want you to please stop doing that. Number one. Number two, bad with managing time and money. You end up extra, you know, spending more time and money than required wherever and every aspect of your life. Number three, hesitation. When you pick up the phone call, even before you make that phone call, you decide, I don't think so this person is going to help me. I don't think so this person is going to buy me. So this is hesitation. So many of the times in your life, you're not taking action because you fear the consequences. So this is called fear of being ridiculed. So I really want you to work on that aspect of it. And personally, relationships also is being taken as a backseat. So Harshwardhan, a lot of things to be taken care of here. Right now, you're focusing on your career. See, career is one dimension. Deep down, you know there's something which is constantly going on in your head, and that's not career. It's basically a relationship with your close family members. So if you can fix that, your energy is going to get fixed, and career will get back to it. Because sometimes, what you think is a problem is not a problem. It could be a decoy. It could be the, you know, another way where you want to basically divert your attention towards. But I see it's a relationship. Harshwadhan. Mm, what do you think, Harshwadhan? He uh, read you like yes, a book? Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Uh, in all aspects, yeah, relationship uh, is something that uh, I want to improve with uh, close uh, family members. And uh, yeah. Uh, Are you also hard on yourself? Too, critical too much, yeah, yeah. I mean, that has been like uh, that has been a pattern. I mean, since a long time, since a finding long faults time. in yourself, even though others don't find a fault in you. And the list of yeah, like uh, pardon me. Yeah, the list of complaints also saying that okay, why others are able to do it, why you're not able to do it. So the way you compare yourself, the way you are actually working. So it will impact your own self. And you know what? It will impact your digestive system. When I say digestive system, especially your liver. You know, fatty livers is the you know, new phenomena where everybody is experiencing right now. So if you constantly keep comparing yourself with others, the one of the important aspects of the body part which will get impacted is your liver. So take care of that too. And if you don't stop doing that, then you'll have health issues to deal with. Yes. What happened? I'll, I'll, uh, you seem shocked. Take care of that. <laughs> I'm surprised to kind of, you know, uh, see that how can, you know, like a signature reveal so much about a person. Yes. Uh, and, uh, would you like, would you yeah, like about the, the time? That? About, uh, yeah, about the pardon? time you were saying something about the time. Yeah, about the time management. Yes. I mean, you know, I, uh, I agree with that. Like, you know, I kind of, uh, in the morning, I, I think that I'll, you know, do these things today. And, but, you know, the, Somehow, like, you know, like the whole day goes about, uh, you know, uh, different things uh, crop up and take away the time. Uh, yeah, so wow. mostly what Imran Zara has said, yeah, I can, uh, you know, relate with it. And uh, uh, amazing. Yeah, I'd I like to give you that to... answer of your question about how was he able to see that? Imran, sir, do you want to give us that ECG example again? Surely. See, some of you might be sitting there and wondering, Imran, okay, you're an expert, so that's why you're able to do it. Can I really do that? How many years should I be able to do it? See, it's very simple. Let me give you a, a beautiful example here. How many of you have seen uh, ECG? You know, how many of you know what is ECG? How many of you know what is ECG? ECG is basically is used in identifying the health of your heart. This is what is ECG is like. And ECG is nothing but the lines onto the paper. How many of you agree with me on that? And we don't understand that. All that we know is small line, big line, some variations, and the doctors look at it and they know the health of your heart. So remind you, it's just lines on the paper. The next aspect is, look at this. This is Richard's scale. 
these are nothing but the lines on the paper, but that tells you the intensity of the earthquake by just looking at the lines. And those of you in the stock market, these are also nothing but the lines. When all these lines have a meaning, why not your signature? Why not your signature? So if all these lines are able to decide certain aspects of you, this is how your signature is. For me, it's the lines which you don't understand, but if I tell you how to get yourself trained and understand, you can actually do that fixing. And by the way, uh, Harsha, uh, I'm not going to give you any uh, you know, suggestions as of now because I definitely want you to get back to graphotherapy with me because one of the things I want you to do is write graphotherapy. Everybody write down this term, which is called as graphotherapy. Graphotherapy is a systematic way of changing your handwriting to influence your subconscious mind. So remember in the beginning, Mitesh, you was talking about how your handwriting is coming from your brain onto the paper using your hand. Everybody raise your hand and do this. So that means even to move your hand like this, your brain has to send signals. How many of you agree with me on that? So there is something which your brain is using to communicate to your hand that is called neuropathways. That are your neurons. That's 